I'm here with Derek Cummings, uh, winner of the 2014 uh, Extract Artist of the Year Award, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Is that right? I think so. Yeah, I can't remember which year it was. No, I can't remember. All the years start to blur together when you go to all these cannabis events, don't that's, they? That's the truth. So, <clears throat> like little mini reunions everywhere. So Derek and I go way back, but uh, I haven't seen him in a while. Um, the last time, uh, the, well, we I should mention that we did a story together. Uh, back when I was working at High Times, I did the first uh, feature about a dab lab, about a c extraction laboratory called Bobby and the Concentrate Factory. And uh, Derek at the time was the head of uh, Pink House Labs, and we did a whole video uh, podcast and, and a story about it, a very popular video, by the way. Very uh, popular. Well, yeah, how, what did you think of how all that turned out? Um, I mean, it became, um, <clears throat> it was, it was funny because it really, a lot of people came out. I didn't, I wasn't aware it was going to become such a big deal. And now forever people like just outside some dudes like you work at pink house, right? And I was like, fucking Bobby. Yeah, well, the amount of views that it got and the amount of comments and controversy that kind of sprung from it, uh, I, I guess I shouldn't be shocked at this point uh, that no matter what you put out nowadays, especially in the cannabis community, there's always going to be super supporters and super haters and, and you know, the same thing with the different uh, political initiatives, the one in Cali and the one here in, Col yeah, in Colorado, sure. you know, there was pro, big pro people, big anti people, you know, were you one of the pro people in Colorado or were you one of the no on uh, 64 people? Uh, oh, I was pro, pro, I mean, since... Since In Harmony Wellness and since I, you know, since the beginning of Amendment 20, it's always a, a push for you know gradual steps and eventually you can, you know, um, and I say that from someone that after Amendment had my own dispensary and after 1284 when they regulated, I lost my shop and I'm still for regulation because I lost my shop but we didn't lose all the shops, you know, and and sometimes you have to sacrifice and my shop literally was. I loved it. It was great. And I ran it, you know, I think it changed the standard of the way shops operated, at least here in Colorado, for certainly. And after after 1284 and they, they regulated, you know, like some good people lost out, but a bunch of the shit show got moved along. Yeah. And, you know, regulations necessary in any in any industry to eliminate shitheads, you know, like think about how scummy used car dealers are. Like, and, and take them and if, if they could do whatever they wanted and and not not have anybody watch what they're doing, well, of course, sure. you know, you're like in any industry, you deal with scummy people, sure. so. Well, that was what was so impressive about the video that we did, I thought, because you took me on a tour of the whole lab, you went through every step, how it's done, showed the process, it was clean, it was honest, it was legit, it was sterile, it was, it was done right, it was scientific. And that's, you know, that is what helps sets the standard. What, at, at a time when so many people were open blasting, yeah. to go into a lab like that and see that level of professionalism, I think is what made people really excited about it. So, and now the industry is caught up. And, and most of the operations, I, I would think at this point, are much more on that level. Yeah, like uh, right now in Denver, if you're operating in uh, hydrocarbon extraction, you're, you're in a class one, division one laboratory. And uh, I'm, I'm happy to say that I moved on to Incredibles, and we were the we were the first. You know, uh, Brian Lucas called us and said, "Congratulations! You know, we're giving you guys approval on your your laboratory, and to be the first, really, not just in Denver, which I mean we were, but it was really turns out to be the first in the country, Class One, Division One, after pushing for the right thing for so long, and and trying to explain that." You know, like all the, the all the misinformation that gets out there about butane being unsafe and hydrocarbons being unsafe, it's just mostly a marketing gimmick by people that sell CO2 machines or CO2 products. You know, it's just, it's it's nice to finally be in a work environment. It's, it's sad when there's accidents, but to compare some idiot open blasting to, you know, like they, they would see somebody open blasting blow up a neighborhood or their house or something and then they would react to how they were guide got what guidelines they were putting us in so we ended up coming out and saying what's the most stringent environment you can have and it's a class one division one yeah, yeah. flammable environment is existing all the time or um, you know a dangerous environment so 
to be able to just say, okay, let's just, as, as tight as you can get, we can do it, and then move on from there. Yeah. At least we have something. Like I said, it's better to have regulations, because at least now we have, a, a, there's a way to do it. Absolutely. So, um, let, me, uh, let me ask you, um, Incredibles, you said you work with Incredibles. Obviously, they, they've won some awards in the past, and I believe they're nominated for a few more tonight. Um, do you know what, what what are they nominated for tonight? Tonight, I think we have a um, Best Product or a Best Edible, one of the two. I think it's the Peanut Butter Buddha Bar. I know we have our extract company is up. Um, we really are proud of the fact that we have a, elite extracts that because of all the other alternative routes that our extracts can go, we really only put out the very, very best in, in a dabbable form and anything that's not perfect gets goes into one of the other 20 products that we make so it's nice to be able to have that discretion and really be known as man I've never really had anything bad from them well you won't because it's only the best so that's a that's a nice award it's a good honor um, and I think Bob's up our, our co-founders up for a few awards he's done a bunch of work with kids this year so let me ask you how did winning the extract artist of the year award change your career or life at all if it did um, well I was already at a point where we could use that to start marketing so um, when you have something to market it's great you know it's all these awards it's one thing if you if you're trying to make your day about this and it's another thing if you're able to capitalize on them so I'm, I'm at a point where I believe there's no Santa Claus but the kids believe so I would like to have the stickers on the front of that packaging. So, Right on, man. Well, Derek, thanks so much for talking to us. It's been a pleasure. Uh, enjoy the awards. We'll see you later. Thanks.